Also Fan TV down here at Wembley Stadium. Um, you know what? Yesterday at the Emirates, I forgot to do the player. Well, I didn't forget to do the player ratings. We had to shoot off after we'd done our interviews to Charlton, uh, where there was a football game with the YouTubers versus the side men, and we were covering that as well. And uh, didn't get a chance to do the player ratings outside the ground. So I thought, you know what, we're doing a little feature down here today at Wembley. We've just interviewed Martin Keown and also Chris Sutton. You'll be able to see those interviews tomorrow. And whilst we're here at the beautiful setting of Wembley, where we will be on Saturday when we'll be taking on Chelsea in the FA Cup final, I thought it's a nice backdrop to do the player ratings from yesterday. Uh, let's kick off with in goal, Petr Cech. Brilliant again. We're going to need him at the weekend here. He's going to need to show that form that he's been showing over the past couple of weeks. Brilliant saves. Kicking was good. Nearly saved the penalty as well. It, it was a brilliant penalty by Lukaku, so I'm not even going to write him down on that. I know he hasn't saved the penalty this season. Um, but 7 out of 10 for Petacek. Really consistent, really on good form at the moment. Um, moving to the three at the back, I thought Gabriel was excellent yesterday. Really, really good. It's so unfortunate that he came off with that injury. Real bad luck with injuries, this guy. Um, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 and get well soon. He's going to be out of the cup final, as is Lauren Koscielny. Now, whilst I think he was a little bit unlucky to get sent off, I thought the last game of the season, the referee could probably have given him a yellow and, you know, because it was reckless. It wasn't, there was no malice in, the, in, in that. He didn't intend to take the player out. It was reckless. However, what a stupid tackle to make so early in the game. Koscielny, one out of 10. You missed the FA Cup final. We needed you for that. One out of 10 for Lauren Koscielny. That was poor. Um, Rob Holding as well played okay. You know, but the penalty that he gave away, what's was he doing handling the ball like that, you know? Um, apart from that, he played well, solid as usual. Some great runs in the game. Um, I'm going to, but just because of that handball, got to mark him down. Six out of 10. Hector Bellerin got a goal and I thought yesterday he played really well. Really dynamic, up and down the wing. That's what I like to see from this kid. The confidence is returning to him. Seven out of 10 for him. Granite Shaka as well, I thought played really well. Some good passing, good range as well. Getting consistent. I personally think that Granite Shaka is going to come to life next season. I really, really do. 7 out of 10 for him. Aaron Ramsey, I thought yesterday, was excellent. Apart from his goal, which was brilliant, I thought, you know, his all-round box-to-box display was really, really good. We're going to need that on Saturday against Chelsea as well. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Really, really played well. Um, out on the other wing, uh, Nacho Monreal, uh, wing back as well, very solid during the game. Again, remember, we were down to 10 men for most of that game and you wouldn't have thought it the way in which the defence played. Uh, I thought he played really, really well. 8 out of 10 for Nacho Monreal. Mesut Erzu yesterday as well, another fantastic performance by him. Um, I thought he was... His all-round game was brilliant, good passing. He's really coming back to form. That's good news, you know, as we get to this cup final. We really need him to turn up here at the weekend. Eight out of ten for Mesut Ozil. Danny Welbeck, um, you know, he missed a couple of sitters in the game. He was His all-round game was good, but a couple of sitters that he missed, I have to mark him down a bit. I'm going to give him a six out of ten. Going to need to be a bit sharper in the final in front of goal, but... I love the, the fact that he always causes defensive problems. Man of the match for me was Alexis Sanchez. He went off injured. I'm hoping that's not, not too bad. But for me, another goal for him. Brilliant this season. 24 goals in the Premier League. Absolutely fantastic. We cannot afford to let this guy go. 9 out of 10 for Alexis. Uh, getting into the subs, I thought Alex Iwobi, when he came on, he was really, really dynamic. But... Again, get on the finishing, Alex. He could have scored. He could have scored one of the goals of the season. The way he just skipped past the um, Everton defence, but his finish just weren't quite there on a couple of occasions. Seven out of ten for him, but I really like Iwobi this season. Um, Murtasaka, I thought he came on and done brilliantly. Didn't put a foot wrong. Blocks were in. His reading of the game is absolutely exceptional. He could play here at the weekend. Will it be good enough? I mean, it's all right against Everton. Will it be enough up against Diego Costa and that? We might find out at the weekend, but certainly he didn't put a foot wrong. I thought eight out of ten, um, good performance by Per Mertesacker. And Francis Coquelin came on, um, was solid, you know, just kept us solidified. Six out of ten for him. Um, manager yesterday, 
Tactically, I thought he got it right. You know, even when we were down to 10 men, he still went for it. He knew that we needed to win. Too little, too late. But if I'm judging it on yesterday's game alone, he did well. Seven out of 10 for him. The fans yesterday, you know, they really got behind the team. Um, I thought as well, you know, I've seen a lot of teams where, you know, they played their last game of the season and everybody went home. The Arsenal fans stayed and clapped off the team. Well done for that. Uh, I'm going to give the fans an eight out of 10. They were brilliant yesterday. And um, listen, it was a win, but too little, too late. It's Europa League football for Arsenal next season. Uh, what could have been? Um, but listen, at least we know that we'll be coming back here at the weekend. We can win some silverware. I've heard lots of fans over the years say, oh, fourth place is not a trophy. Well, the FA Cup's a trophy. So we're not in the Champions League. It's not good enough. But let's come here and win the FA Cup.